It was supposed to be a hearing about problems of the U.S. southern border. The Department of Homeland Security's inspector general was called to testify about his findings today. But the hearing abruptly shifted gears into a host of other accusations about the IG himself. Mike Gooding has details. The deteriorating conditions along the southwest border and mismanagement of resources have harmed law enforcement and made existing staffing challenges even worse. Homeland Security Inspector General Joseph Kafari's May survey of 9,300 DHS personnel found that ongoing migrant surges have exacerbated law enforcement staffing issues along the U.S. southern border. They have um, developed um, an inability to continue to do what they consider to be their primary law enforcement function. But Democrats on the Committee on Oversight and Accountability Subcommittee on National Security, the Border and Foreign Affairs turned to a separate issue. They focused on the Trump appointee Kafari's oversight of missing Secret Service text messages from the January 6, 2021 riot at the U.S. Capitol. Mr. Kafari is a witness who repeatedly refused to comply with this committee's requests for meetings and information. And he sought to block congressional oversight at every turn. We have not had the cooperation and the relationship that of, of trust that we have had with other inspectors general. It's no surprise that the Biden administration and my colleagues across the aisle don't like him because he's an honorable man that speaks the truth. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The nonpartisan independent watchdog project on government oversight has repeatedly called for Joseph Kafari's firing. That's over allegations he directed staff to remove reports of domestic abuse, sexual assault, sexual harassment by Homeland Security agents. The organization also argues that Kafari has disrupted and delayed two ongoing investigations into alleged intelligence manipulation and whistleblower retaliation. 